He's anointing never dries up. He's endless love. He's contagious. He's outrageous love. And He spills over us. And in our despair, in our darkness, in our problems, in our very moments where we are broken, that's where we need the Savior. That's in our realizing our death and our hopelessness. That's where the hope comes, the Christ hope of glory in us. That's where He is the answer in the very situation, no matter how broke you are. And this is message too good to be true. It's good to, too good to be true for our ideas, for a rationalistic mindset. It's too good to be true for the Buddhist mindset. It's too good to be true for religious cliche mindset. It's too good to be true. But still, it's true, man. No matter whether you feel it or not, whether you see it or not, whether you realize it or not. So Christ came to destroy the very ego centricity because Trinity is not ego centered, it's a closed up in itself. So he came to destroy it, he came to destroy it in German language. That's actually three forms. Like ego bin, ego beast, ego ist. But he came to destroy that ego bin, ego beast, ego ist. He destroyed this lie. It's a lie. You're not a murderer, it's a lie. You're not a pervert, it's a lie. It's a lie of the devil, it's a lie of your fallen mindset, it's a lie of your own fears and delusions. Don't go with it. Wake up to God's love, just be awakened to reality that there's a love volume that nothing can stop you from Him loving you. If somebody told you there, there's, it's hopeless that you came over border, I'm here to say no. There's nothing can stop us from the love of God. Nothing can separate us, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers of this age, or coming age, nor of time, nothing. We just need to stick with that. And to experience this love, we, we need to actually go with it. We need to go with this love. We need to accept it. It's not like I'm just waiting and it's like, okay, I, I was on the Yambana Toge, and I didn't feel I met God today, or probably He doesn't exist, or I don't see Him with my own eyes. Man, I don't see 95% of my potential with my own eyes. I don't see my brains with my own eyes. I don't see many things with my own eyes. But, this, but you know, scientists say there are a lot of things we don't see. We see only 5% with your own eyes. How can you say it's absolute true what you see, man? What do you observe? If that's the case, man, why we need science even? Why we need everything else? What do we do? We believe in intuition, we believe in all kinds of things. And people believe actually here in Oslo, I found out, they believe in yoga, they believe in horoscopes, they believe all kinds of stuff. And they, <laughs> most of them absolutely rebuke the idea of God, not because the God is bad a guy, but because their idea about the God is a bad guy who's against them, but he's never against them. And uh, actually God bless all these guys. <laughs> All the flags, all the nations will bow down before the name of Jesus. Whatever nation or culture they're from, whatever tribe they're from. So this is message still the same. It's still about God's love. It never ending. It never stops. God is for you. If you feel tonight you're hopeless, if you feel tonight you need prayer, if you feel if you struggle with depression, if you struggle with sickness, whatever that might be the case. If you, feel, if you don't sleep well at night, so you feel demons coming, whatever. Like, come here, we will pray for you. Whatever is the case. Maybe it's someone, some of your relatives, an accident, or a car accident, or whatever. Come here, we will pray for you. Tonight, we will just declare goodness of God over you. We declare, like, solution and peace over the situation. We just agree in faith that all will be, all will be, and fall in place and align with the truth of the gospel because he already took all your sins he already bore all your sicknesses he already came to take all iniquities and resurrect us from the dead in jesus name so come boldly come boldly and don't be afraid of anything we're not here to send you somewhere it's like we are here to declare god's love and it's up to you where to go how to flow but God really is passionate to have a relationship with you. Do you discover this union with Him? And from His point of view, this union existed a long time ago. So this invitation is still for every human being to enjoy the 